see if um, he'll be able to use it optimally. Start your build? Yep. And look, he's not even going in. He just... Yeah. Tubu just, definitely doesn't want to risk anything. Yeah. You, you can't be too middle, or else you're going to take eat a bunch of percent, because that's just Bayo. But again, Greninja can get out of the, all these combos with side B if you're um, able to get, use it. I like that recovering low. Yeah, Tubu and definitely doesn't want to take risk. A lot of people that I've seen mm -hmm. um, uh, when I was watching some of the matches, they will jump and then recover. Tubu is not using his jumps. He, he just... He yeah, you wait it out. Because what can happen, especially against Bayo, is they will just drop down, mm -hmm. and then they'll just nair you or something, and then that's your jump, then they can just kind of react to how you're going to recover. Yeah, that if, makes you, if you save your jump, like that gives you like another option to try to get back. Which that's very good by Tubu to hold the <coughs> jump there. So I feel like one risky thing that's happening is, uh... It's about Tubu's going in a little bit too much, even though he's only behind 30%. Oh yeah. And he isn't trying to see if uh, which Nautilus will like let him wait it out. Definitely one of the big things with Bayo is just maintaining patience <coughs> and making sure that uh, you don't overcommit. That's a really good attack there. He got hit by the uh, bear. Not, I don't think it would have killed, yeah. But would have done definitely some meaty percent. Could have dodged there, good wait. Down so, uh, I know Tubu also abuses the Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got scared there. I love creatures like, um, Co uh, if you remember Cosmos versus Netic and I'm a lover, or I'm a my bad. Yeah. He actually did the same thing. He just down here really high and was able to recover. Just to make sure he doesn't get hit. Yep. Uh, I like to do that with Sheik. But, like, I, I wasn't sure if, like, it was a straight down air. Oh. <laughs> got some Hydro Pump stuff there, but, uh, wasn't able to really get the games. And this is both smart by people, you know, just... Get him off stage, shuriken, shuriken, shuriken. So, Bayo actually has trouble killing. Very good. But... Oh, really? He just jumped force smash. This is such <laughs> a fast... If you're not ready for that force smash, that's a, just a free hit. Mm -hmm. I feel like he was also still stuck in Unlock, though, because side B on stage is very laggy. Oh, yeah. Very good. Uh, what you got? So, like, Tubu started uh, applying what I mentioned earlier, which is, like, he didn't have to approach. And then also later on, uh... <coughs> Sorry. Uh, he was just waiting for the opportunity. And I like what people are doing. Just like, don't come near me. And he gets punished yep. for just... You get, like, strong it out. So when, uh... Especially when Alice is in the air. But, I mean, that's all you have to do. You're winning now. What are you, why would you need to approach the veil unless you, like, are getting killed there? Like, it was... He was in, uh... He committed to something Nautilus, and then he got punished. Like, right there. So he got out of the combo there. Okay. I was able to kind of respond. But I think that's because he was, uh, he got, like, kind of, like, later hits too, Blue. Okay. Yep, yeah, and there oh. it is again. Wow, it's really, like, effective, too. I yeah, it's very effective, that. yes. And again, if you're new to the top and that happens, that could be a stop. Oh, true. Because it can hit in such weird angles. Especially with Bale's, like, all the many hitboxes Bale's up to it, it can send you anywhere, so you have to be prepared to DI, you know, anywhere, pretty much. No, that definitely makes sense. <coughs> Honestly, very close game. Game one. Oh. Here comes the giant thing. <laughs> Patrick, no! <laughs> oh! So that was actually a good mix-up because you did see Tubu not really go for side B on Legend of Lot, which, uh, you know, he just saw him up B. But that was a good call-up by Nautilus. That was an yeah. amazing call-out. Did he own reaction or was it a read? I didn't... I think it was a read because there, there's not enough, uh, like, from when you... Greninja ends and stuff, but let's see, but you don't have enough time to uh, down air, down smash. Yeah, and you also can't see the uh, shadow because it's in the air. Yeah, so <laughs> that, that had to be just a, a solid call up by Nautilus. Definitely. <coughs> so going back to this one, Smash Roll, game two. Uh, I actually like this pick. I think Town is a bit too risky for uh, Two Blue. So taking Bayo back here is definitely the closest thing you'll have to FD. Well, I mean, you're going to ban Lilat, I'm pretty sure, on, in my opinion. Because I don't... Greninja doesn't... You know, you mess up with your shurikens, some of the combos, and then also your, it's harder to kind of recover, especially with those tilts, mm -hmm. if you're not comfortable with them. But I mean, even if you go to <coughs> Battlefield, you're not going to go to FD because that's Greninja's play around. Yeah. It's, it's so good for Greninja. And I mean, Bayo's... Well, the two blues only pick the stage. Oh, wait, why am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I, for a second there, I thought... Uh, I, I was, I'm like, oh, yeah, people, yeah, 100%, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, regardless, I mean, yeah, if you're Nautilus, you do ban, you still ban FD, 100%. Without a doubt, yeah. I mean, they, not all Bales, like, uh, FD, it's not like a terrible stage for her, but like, it's not her best it's stage. It's okay, yeah. It's okay, but you're not gonna go to Turkey Ninja, mainly. That was, uh, 
tight. Tight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think Greninja hates. I mean, this matchup again. honestly looks very plausible. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just kind of more. Can I keep Bayo out, or does or um? Oh. What am I gonna do? Kind of. That's a really good way by not was getting stage earlier. <laughs> I don't know if he meant to go on the platform there, but I think uh, you know, just moving a bit more further from stage. That was a really good uh, <coughs> backer there. I definitely feel like the going off stage was very risky. And now I feel like Tubu is going for the uh, side B recovery on ledge a bit more. Yeah. Which can kind of mix up the uh, Nautilus a bit because then it's like, oh, I have to kind of react to the Hydro Pump. But if he's going to keep doing the uh, side B, it's up to Nautilus to really get the uh, call out again. Yeah. No, I definitely see that. I mean, but this is also a very dangerous spot to be in against Bayo. That was a really good yeah. way fight. So I think he continued <laughs> that would have got actually hit Nautilus, and then that would have been it. For his stop. That was really, really good. Eye. I love the kind of sus DI because it looked like I, I feel like that move never sends that way. I may be mistaken really? though. Yeah, I think it maybe it's the way he did <coughs> it. Uh, so this is impossible, honestly. Yeah. This is a few, uh, a few combos. And Greninja does have like auto, like grab combos too that exactly. people don't usually see because. They're kind of better options to down tone to up smash or like a down nair into a fair can sometimes work. Tubu definitely losing the side B factor, but I feel like he's using it in the wrong situation. That was a really quick which time, so I don't know if even if there was a platform, I'm not sure what would happen, but up smash is gonna take it there. Yeah, uh, which he caught him air dodging a few times, and I think that was the final nail in the coffin to like, oh, yeah. stop air dodging. <laughs> but if you're not sure, especially against Bale, like if they down tilt you, like they can do so many things off of that down tilt, even Definitely. a high percent. They can go for an up air, they can go for a back air, you know, there's just so many. Because they'll turn into options. a 50 50. Yeah, it'll turn into a 50 50. And if you just, air, like you saw that, like he, not, uh, two blue just air dodged like two or three times in a row, and then mm -hmm. now just caught on finally. Like, okay, up smash. And he did a chuckle up smash way before, and he just got, yeah. he finally got the one that he needed. Uh, so, I'm actually excited for this next match. We have Earl of M versus Razor.